All right. All right. I don't even wait now. Just, you know, it's live. Like, it, OBS is, is streaming. Oh, I wanted to try restream today and stream on YouTube. Dang it. All right. Because I thought I could do restream um, <laughs> instead of... Uh, I thought I could do restream instead of... Uh... Oh, shoot. I forgot to change the freaking... <sighs> All right. That's fine. Whatever. I'll just leave it. Um, the, yep. What do I want to do here? Do I do crabs? I'll just do this. I'll just copy him. Just full, just full on copy. Like, what is that? Great, great artist, good artist copy, great artist steal, right? Like, it's fine. Like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. I can't, I can't freaking do it. Like the crabs, oh my gosh, let me see this. Let me... What am I going to do? I'll just do the crabs. I'll just do the crabs. That's fine. Pair programmer, what's up? What's up? Oh, let me get the let me get the chat here. Let me see. All right, here we go. Uh yeah, I knew I forgot something. Pair programmer. I forgot something. Um I I never I can never do it. Like I can never do it right before I hit the button. Before I hit the OBS button. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, I'll just, I'll just copy this. I'll just, I'll just say, um, there's no like good news, I guess. Uh, but I want to talk about this one because I hadn't read it yet. The tech recession is so over. All right. Yeah. That's, that's all I gotta say. No, no, no. Um, frick. What else am I gonna say? <laughs> I have no, I have no idea. Maybe I'll just say rust or bust. I don't know. The tech recession is so over. Rust or bust. That's probably what I should have done on the little notification, because I turn. I don't use notifications, right? I don't use notifications on my phone. Um, all push notifications are off except for Twitch. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm late today. Frick, it's 11.07. Dang it. All right. Look, pair program, it's me and you. Okay. Let's, let's get into it. Look, I want to, I want to, whoa, I want to talk about this. I just saw this on Hacker News. Um, <laughs> we the word, first of all, like Zuckerberg though. Like, that's the guy. The Business Insider is trolling. You know what I mean? They're totally trolling on this. Like, so this this is the thing, right? That's a lot. <clears throat> that's a lot of employees, right, for tech? Like, because there's not that many people in tech anyway. So that's that's a lot. Um, and then you've got this, like, thing. And then you've got this here, right? Um, basically, like... They've been doing this, these analysts, which I, someone, if anyone's watching this in chat, like, can you tell me what an analyst does? Cause I've never known. And it's weird because like my dad was a Oracle. Oh no, he was a, he was a database administrator. That's not an analyst, but like, I really, I really want to know what an analyst is because I really don't know. Like. What I'm thinking is like if a software engineer is like a programmer and they output code, so they output, and I think analysts like input, but I don't know what analysts output other than like graphs. Maybe analysts output graphs. They take in data and they output graphs. Maybe that's what it is. Also, yes, I, I, don't, I don't watch ads. Um, okay. Let me see this. Tech analysts from Bernstein Research have been posting monthly updates on layoffs across the industry for about a year. They officially retired the data series. What does that even mean? They output reports. Data analysts output reports. Okay. Okay. So like some words and some graphs and like I think I, okay. So data analysts like they help 
they help CEOs like make data driven decisions. Is that what I'm thinking? Like you're an executive and you're trying to like make the company more money. Cause that's, I mean, I don't know what else you're doing if you're not doing that. And so like, what do you do? Right. You, well, you go to the analyst and you say, Oh, I'm kind of putting this together. Like as like a story in my head. Okay. So, cause I've never, I, w I would love a company to own a company, but I've never been successful at that. So, <laughs> but it would be nice. It would be nice. All right. Let me go back to the stupid thing. <clears throat> All right, tech analysts from have been posting monthly blah, blah, blah. Their final update from Monday showed 4,937 tech jobs co cut so far in August based on data. Wait, so there's still people getting laid off? If the month continues, there should be about 11,000 layoffs. Okay, so there's still, what? Oh, well below the first six months when there were more than 300 or about 51,000 each month. Well, that was weird. The, the music just totally cut out. Um, wait, where's Twitch? Oh, let's put this at the top. Let's put Twitch at the top so then I can just hit command one. Management has knowledge requirements in order to make decisions. Data analysts try to report this knowledge. Okay. Okay. It makes sense. Like, it makes sense. Like, I, if I ever, if I can ever get enough, um, change together, um, from my couch cushions to start a company, uh, and if I can ever... If I can ever deliver something people actually, like if I can ever make something people actually want, um, I will definitely start a company. <laughs> like that's, for, that's the first thing I'll ever do. If I could understand people and understand what they want, <laughs> it's company time. All right, so let me see. This, based on data from TrueUp, if the month continues, oh, okay, I already read this. Okay, $50,000 again. So the tech job reception is over. I mean, but there's still, are there, I guess this is weird because are there more layoffs than hirings, right? If there's more layoffs than people getting hired, it's still a recession, right? Like, am I, am I crazy? Is this not how this goes? Okay, let me see. Here we go. We've got, okay. All right. Yep. Wow. Amazon uh, really went crazy. What is Flink? I, okay. This is why I want to start a company because... It would be so, because like no one would know what it was. Like what is Cognizant? Like what is that? Like Micron, I know what that is. But like what is all this, what is all this stuff? Like I, I never even heard of it. Um, apparently there's room for everyone, right? Oh, okay. So there's less than there was in September. And that's why they're saying it's over. But like how many people are getting hired though? Is anyone getting hired? Or are they just not, they're just not hiring people? Is that what's happening? Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So they're saying because generative AI has getting investment like rust and bust. <laughs> I, it's not really my style. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not out here making like dirty jokes, you know? Um, but yeah, it could be though, I guess like maybe like bust a move. Rust and bust a move, you know? Like, it's like it's the 80s. I was actually, oh, man, bad cop. I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at, um, I was looking at freaking uh, Pit Vipers. Like, Pit Viper, um, because I was like, shoot, should I get one of these? Um, should I get these sunglasses? Um, but I feel like, I feel like Dr. Disrespect took the 80s theme, um, and he, like he kind of ran to the ground. So like, I'm not sure. Yeah. If I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I do like these though. Let me just, let me, can I just show you, can I just show you this? Hold on. Which one? The, this one, this one right here. I do like these, like these ones. Um, cause they're so stupid, right? Like they lift up. Um, and that's what I, I just, there's something about them. Like, <laughs> I just, I look at these and I'm just like, oh man, like, look at how cool she is, right? Like, look at how cool she looks. This guy looks cool, right? He's on the lift. You know what I mean? Like he's snowboarding. Like, I don't know. I'm not that cool. I'm not cool at all. Okay. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? It would be an, 
aspirational. <laughs> that guy doesn't look cool. It would be an aspirational purchase. Okay. That's not, that's not good. It's not good. Um, I've got like all this random hacker news stuff here. I should probably close. Okay. So tech jobs are, people are still getting fired, but somehow the recession is over. Oh, I looked at this, um, growing alfalfa in Imperial County. Right. And like, if you're from California, you know where that is, but yeah. Uh, let's see. What else is this? What is this stupid? What was I looking at? Oh, oh yeah. I saw this QR code phishing attack. It's like, who didn't see that coming though? Right? Like scan this QR code and go to this thing. Like, and no one ever pays attention to like URLs. So you just scan a QR code and you get to, and you get to fish people because like, it looks like this, it looks like this. And then you could get people's two factor. And then in two seconds, you can like write code to like get someone's two factor. Cause you already have their username and password. Right. Cause that's already like, that's already on, uh, what's what are the stupid forums like um i can't even remember the name of them but like it's already out there so you get your username and password and then you just have to qr code for a two-factor authentication thing and you're you're good to go yeah i mean qr codes are a good idea but like uh, uh, whatever i actually i don't want to i shouldn't say this um when i was like 25 i wanted I wanted, when I was like 24, I wanted a QR code tattoo so it could go to swacker.com. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so glad I didn't, I didn't do this. Um, I don't have any tattoos, um, but I'm definitely glad like that if I did get a tattoo, it was not the QR code tattoo. Look. I have bad taste, okay? You want a tattoo? Don't get a QR code. <laughs> Back up. Don't get don't get a QR code. Um <laughs> I should I I should have never have a QR code of Rickroll. Yeah, that's ooh, that would be a good one. Oh Etsy. That would be a really good one. Shoot. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Like I don't know. That's that was such a dumb idea. I I don't know why I just admitted this. All right, anyway, so let's talk about let's talk about databases. So I had this thing, right? So I I found the secret sauce, right? <laughs> I oh let's see what's up. I found I found the secret sauce, right? I'm doing it. You can't stop. I can't stop you. That's true. I cannot stop you. Um but the thing about the Q okay, so the thing about the QR code tattoo is that you can redirect to anything, right? Like you're thinking, oh, it's like tied to this, but if it's tied to any URL, as long as you own the domain, that would be pretty funny. Like you have a QR code tattoo and then the domain expires and someone else takes it and you're like, shoot, now I'm just a corporate a corporate slave because it just goes to some company. Um, that would be that would be hilarious. All right, so like, <laughs> I don't have a QR code tattoo. What is wrong with me? I need more tea. Hold on a second, hold on a second. That's better. All right. All right. Um, so this is the secret sauce, right? Like we're looking at the sequel here. This is what it is. This is how you get, um, you get rows with, and then, so you get rows, right? Like normal. Um, but then you also get, uh, the JSON from related, from related things, right? So that's, that's, this is it. Um, you use JSON group array. And you, use, and you put JSON object in here. And I this syntax is annoying, but this is why I want to make this Rizzle thing. It's because I don't want to I don't want to sit here and type this out, right? That's that's horrible, especially when it can be generated. You know, generated with a macro. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this um this is what what you need. You don't you don't want to be typing this. You just want to do this, but I don't even, do you even need to group by here? I don't know if you do. Um, <laughs> this looks like PHP mixed with SQL. Is this PHQL? No, it's just, this is just SQL. This is just SQL. Um, this is just, it's just regular SQL. I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure. 
But yeah, you don't want to be writing this, right? You d you definitely want to. So I did a readme, right? I did a readme for the Riz. Um. <laughs> all right, so like I didn't. I was gonna post it yesterday on Twitter, but I was like, uh, whatever. It needs it needs a lot of work. So basically, this is how it's gonna be used, right? You're gonna do this, right? And so you have to do this. Primary key, not null, you like give it the type, right? I, I don't think I like have this, like now you can actually like see it, right? And then you can like do the types here and then you could do indexes, right? And this PostgreSQL be like, <laughs> and then, so like this is cool, I think, right? So you can like do the columns here, right? And then you can, so you're like building both sides of a reference, like both sides of a join essentially, right? Um, so like, I'm not sure about this cause I feel like I could, I could infer this, but like, why would I, I guess, right? So then I have this like fake one, it's like many. Um, so like, cause users have many posts, right? I don't know if I'm gonna, I haven't even done this yet. I'm, I'm still thinking about this. But yeah, and then you have the row, right? Which can be, uh, that can, this can be generated um, with a proc macro on, on top of this with an attribute. And then you have this Vecca post and like, oh, I don't know, man, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm so down on this. So I haven't even, I haven't even started this project. I'm like so down on this. Like, oh my gosh, I got to pump myself up to like finish this, finish this thing. Um, all right. I mean, how, I don't even know how many times I've done something like this. And I'm just like, why am I still doing this? I should be like bad cop and make games. Like what is wrong with me? I should just abandon web and just make games, uh, for the rest of my days. Okay. All right. Um, frick. All right. So yeah. And then you do this with the post to right? And this one's real. Like this is a real column. So the mini column from before doesn't get migrated, right? But this is real, um, and uh, be like me and disappear from Twitch for weeks at a time. I did do that, though. I did. I well, because I did go. I I was gone for two weeks, but yeah, that's funny. Like usually in the summer, I'm like, oh, uh, Yarmolenko, two twenty. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, Office Space, by the way, uh, it's good. It's good. Wait, wait, wait. How come the chat's not showing up above my head? Oh, was it? Oh, it just disappears. Yeah, I added that uh, because I thought it gave something to the stream, you know, the little transparent chat box thing. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's an insult. I honestly, I can't tell if I'm being like mad, like ho horribly trolled right now or if that's a good thing. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyway, so like, look, this is a real column, right? And it references. So like if, if you look at, <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I should make another. I should make another emo thing. Um, I should make another one. Uh, I should make a bunch actually. Just me doing like stupid stuff. Uh, okay, let me see. So the, yeah, this is right. So like you, you basically given me right. You you given the Rizzle library all I need to make joints right. But not only that. So then there's the row right for the post. But not only that. So like here's how you use it right. So you do this, like you get your database handle, right? So this could be an environment variable, whatever. And then you have your schema. I said, you're like, you're like listing out your schema. What's cool though about this, right? If you think about this, think, if you think about this, you can put this in, you can put this in another struct called schema, right? And then you can have, you can have users and posts, right? And then you can just say, let schema equals schema new. And then you can say schema dot user schema dot posts. This is what, oh, this is not, <laughs> this doesn't even work. I actually, I fixed this. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, then you can call this like sync macro, which is actually going to be this because you can't do that. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. Let me just put a, uh, a, a macro function in a struct. Cause yeah, you could do that in rust. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's so dumb. Uh, so yeah, sync DB, right. And then you could like pass all your tables in order, right? So like the order matters. So like this is your, this is when the migrations happen, right? So every time main runs, every time the Rust app starts, 
that's when the migrations happen, right? So anyway, and then you can like do things like this, right? So we could just comment this for a second. So then you could do like DB select, right? From, and then you like pass users and then you have like users ID one, right? And then you like call collect to like execute the thing because this is just a builder, right? And then you have to await it because it's, uh, it's async, right? And then here you would do this too. It's the same, the same thing, right? So now you can see like how it's, how it's different from, uh, wait, is it different from diesel? Is it, is it, I was like, wait, is it actually different from diesel? Have I just rebuilt diesel? Shoot. Let me see. Did I do this? Let me see. Set up diesel for your project. Okay. So the migrations are new. The auto migrations are new. But, <laughs> but, I mean, but I mean, it's possible. It's possible that I also, by the way, Metamy's stream, pretty good. Like he, he goes deep, like super deep. Um, okay. So yeah, I might have, I might have recreated diesel. I may have accidentally done this. Hello, Peter. And I didn't mean what's to. TTKB, what's up? Thank you for the follow. Um, Frank, <laughs> Frank, I. I might have actually, did I really though? Oh no, this is different. So yeah, I don't, I never liked this about diesel. I don't, yeah, that's, that's not the thing. That's not the move. You know what I mean? Okay. So I definitely have, I definitely have started to re, but the difference between these, oh, I can't, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. That's not my, it's not my thing. All right. So like I, um, the difference between D's right? And Riz, the Riz, the Raz, right? Um, is, <laughs> I'm showing incredible restraint. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, enemy. All right. So like, so diesel starts with this, but mine starts with the DB. So you don't have to like do this con thing, which I, this does make sense. Cause like, how are you going to, how are you going to end it? So I ended in collect, which is kind of awkward now that I'm thinking about it. But it's possible that I could be, it's possible I might be able to build up a future, right? Do I like that? Do we like this? <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Frick. <sighs> All right. Let me just, let me just actually, let me just do, let me just do the, the, the work. Let me just do the horrible, horrible work. Uh, oh my gosh. I got to test this. This feels like work. Like, honestly, I should just go back to, like, news on the stream. It feels like work. Uh, all right. So this, there's no indexes. There's one index. And then if I drop this DB sync, if I call DB sync without it, uh, like with empty tables, right? Uh, whoa, my gosh. Okay. Then we do a uh We'll just copy this, bring this down. Oh, copy paste, bring this down here. Oh my goodness. All right. Index names should be zero. Oh, it's a big fat fail. It's a large fail. That's not good. This is not great to see. Uh, this does not work. Okay. Let me see. Uh, it should be zero. Oh, I don't even. I don't even think I drop things in sync, do I? What do I drop? I have create tables, right? This part creates tables. Uh, to do, put this in a function. Don't be lazy. Uh, this one too. To do, put this in a function as well. Oh man, I'm doing a great job. I am the best Rust library author. I'm the best Rust crate person. Like if you want to learn how to do Rust crates, you gotta you gotta watch this stream. <laughs> you gotta watch it. All right. Uh, but yeah, this also in a function. Uh, this uh adds alter. This does alter table add column. Add column. This does alt. This does drop table this is drop table uh best rust crate person <laughs> good stream description it's true it's true this is actually my first crate that i'm thinking about releasing 
Um, cause I usually I just make, make workspaces and I just do like, uh, I just do this mostly like every time I have like a dependency, I'm like, Oh, I'll just put my, <laughs> I get all my rust crates, bad cop. No, like from the UR code, right? <laughs> it's from, it's straight. You can get rust crates straight from the QR code on your shoulder. You know what I mean? That was the play. I didn't even say where I was going to get it before. I didn't even say wh wh where the tattoo was going to be. I, I said, I, it's like, I want it on my shoulder, like, so people can see it, you know? Um, but like, I always wear t-shirts and like hoodies. So I don't know, like, how is anyone going to see it? It's just too convenient. <laughs> Not even going to impel any DV access until this is done. Yeah, no, it's true. I don't actually have any, I don't have any DV access. <laughs> I, I don't, this, this whole thing in the readme, this does not exist. Like that's the. This is readme driven development, all right? This does create table. Yeah, maybe I should have done it on my like hand. Whoa, no, because then you're getting into like weird apocalypse territory. You know what I mean? I should get pseudo bash across my knuckles. Oh, that'd be sick. <laughs> that'd be sick. I would love that actually. That'd be kind of cool. Um, that'd be kind of cool. And anyone who knows, they'd be like, this person knows. This person knows. <clears throat> What's up with the bash? All right. Uh, oh my gosh. All right. So I got to basically copy this. Oh, I see why people hate programming now. Like I've been programming for so long. I'm starting to hate it. You know, it's like I'm programming in anger. Like, oh, it's freaking, I got to copy this stupid thing. Like, are you serious? Okay. Let's do <sighs> stupid piece of crap. All right. I actually, how did, how am I even generating the indexes in the first place? Create ta is it in create table SQL? No, I have, where is this use? Like what? Oh my gosh, there's to do's. Uh, oh, I, oh, I don't even have create indexes yet. I'm creating indexes separately. Also, this is how I like to do databases too. I mean, I'm not going to do DB in my apps until Rizzle is done. Just holding out for this crate. <laughs> Oh man, that means I actually have to, I actually have to work on this. That's not good. You know, I almost fell over. Like I was just so excited, you know, that like there's some, there's one user for Rizzle. Like I'm so excited. Dude, I'm ready for my crate to experience, uh, exponential growth. Um, I don't know if, if the crates IO team is ready though. You know what I mean? I don't think they're ready for the, for the deluge of like downloads they're going to receive. I never see deluge. I, I don't know why I said that. I don't even think I'm saying it right. Deluge? Oh my gosh. Uh, Freaking A. Definition? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. A heavy downpour. They're not ready. Uh, they're not ready for the DDoS that will occur uh, when I push my crate live. Okay? They're not ready. Let's just actually, let's make sure first before I like that Rizzle isn't taken. Because I feel like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought, oh, it just is drizzle. Like, what is this? What is this? Like, what is it? Oh, there's a 404. There's no source. 250. What? <laughs> 252 downloads for drizzle. Oh, man. I'm so glad that I did not just like copy drizzle um, and put it in Rust. Like, that would have been horrible. Placeholders? Yeah. Good Englishing. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Deluge. That's what it is. It's a deluge. DDoS. Deluge, DDoS, same thing. All right. Yeah. This, um, but the diesel query builder, I, uh, yeah, this, how do, I actually wonder how they do this. So uh, someone needs to sell me on a crate for .m because I don't, I don't think like what, what is all this? Like just do just do this, right? Like bad cop will bad cop will tell you. Like just do this. Um export wait wait wait. Just do export cat.env. Right? Am I crazy? Like just do this, right? Or whatever you put ticks on there or something. Just do this. Like this is how you do this is how you get your dot env like into your environment right before you execute your dot exe or whatever right like execute the thing like your server or whatever right 
It's like that. This is how you do it. Like, don't put a freaking crate in your thing for dot env. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Making a crate called Rizzle. Back up. No. Bad cop. Bad cop. Don't do it. Oh, I just clipped on that. Let me turn this down. I'm like yelling. All right, bad cop. Like, don't, don't do it. $10,000. That's a deal. That's a deal right there. Who wants to bet the Tokyo maintainer owns that one? <laughs> this one is just ransoming namespaces to streamers. Shoot. Shoot. It's a crab party. Dang it. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not like, I'm not a, I'm not a placeholder person. Like, I don't, I don't believe in that. Like, don't just put the thing up when the code is, is done. You know what I mean? Don't, uh, don't do this. Yeah, this is why I don't like diesel. Like, because you have to do this, but it's like DDL syntax is so simple that you could easily wrap that and like make it a little nicer. Yeah, like what diesel generates this? Like, what is this madness? This is crazy. Okay, all right. Oh, they don't have, it's not a literal, it's not a string literal. It's just an ident. Shoot, I do like that though. I do, that's cleaner. That's way cleaner. Diesel's doing it better than me. No, no. Table name pages belongs to book. Okay, man, look at all this stuff. That's crazy. That's a lot. This is a lot. Diesel, this is a lot. I'm playing the long con. I'm squatting all relevant domains for you when you find success. <laughs> all right, look, you can't take swagger.com from me because you can't take this away, all right? I've had this for years. I don't even remember how long. I probably had it for like, I don't want to date myself. Like years, like at least 10 years I've had this. I've had I've had it. You can't take it away. Like I, it's been on auto renew every year, okay? It's I will never forget. I will never surrender swalker.com. Um, let's see. What am I doing? Oh, indexes. Indexes to create. Indexes to create. Where why don't the indexes What? The indexes there's no indexes to create. All right, uh, index names, and what do I do? Oh, indexes. That means I, I actually, can I not see? Because, okay, indexes, I actually need this. Uh, oh, my gosh. Actually, how did I do this? Oh, table name? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Shoot, man. Let indexes, uh, look at a, self dot index names. Oh, that's index names. The indexes are let indexes equals. I have to get them from the tables though, right? Tables, it, the t tables exists, right? What is that? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Hello, hello, what? Oh, tables dot iter map uh, t. Oh, we we'll do a flat map. Flat map t dot indexes. Yeah. Uh, collect maybe it's possible. It's possible. All right. I don't know if this is, I don't know if taking the, ind I think the indexes need to be, oh no, that, that, that actually makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Kiav09, what's up? Uh, I have a domain that's probably older, but I hate it. I don't, <laughs> I don't, what is it? <laughs> what is it? Is it like, uh, I used to, look, bad cop, Kiav09, yes. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Like, he Hello. Um, we're talking about QR code tattoos and domains. Uh, I only renew it because there is code that relies on me owning it in the wild. Oh, shoot. Bad cop, if you're the owner of uh, I can has IP, just let us know. Okay? Just let us know. And that's fine. You know? Like, just because you're an internet celebrity, you can let us know. We won't, we won't go crazy on you. How did I get tabs and alacrity? GTKB. It's just a name that I no longer go by. Uh, I thought it was I can't has IP for a second there. I was like, oh, we got a celebrity. Um, let me see. How do I get tabs on Alacrity? Uh, um, this is, what is my Alacrity config? Let's make it big. Uh, config Alacrity Alacrity. So I only left, only left is a good cop. <laughs> yeah. Bad cop started out as good cop, but uh, decided to switch to not that. 
Um, oh my gosh, look at how terrible my alacrity config is. Yeah, so this is what I did. Um, I have the new... Uh, what did I do to get tabs in alacrity? There's a... Uh, what did I do? It's one of these. Oh, here we go. It used to be... I used to actually require this, right? I used to, I used to need to do this. Oh, it's wrapping. It's wrapping. Um, but yeah, you don't need to do this anymore. Um, basically what you do is in, in, uh, in Mac OS, you just say, um, you just say, uh, oh my gosh, where is it? Is it, uh, display desktop and dog maybe? You force all tabs, right? You force all tabs when opening documents. That's that's what you do. But if you're not in Mac OS, like Rizzler O R M Impose D, what's up? What's up? What is <laughs> uh Zol Zero? Zolo? Have you considered not using Mac OS? Bad cop. Bad cop. Look, did, did I talk about my history, my my cursed history with Linux? Did I talk about that? Like we can talk about it. Look. When I was a young a young buck, okay, um, in college, Matt Goat, yeah, that's right. Man, I consider that every day, but I'm also cheap and work pays. Work does pay. Um, I I have considered actually recently because Mac OS has become more like constrictive, like over time. Not much just building a GraphQL API in Rust. Oh, hey, have you seen? Um, have you seen? Is he, is he poem? No. There is a, oh, oh, you're building an API. Oh, you're building the actual API for an application. I thought you were building like a GraphQL like library. Oh, no. Yeah, good, good. Yes, disable. Um, I'm working toward my ideal hacker setup. Look, anyway, look, my cursed Linux, my cursed Linux experience. When I was a young buck in college, uh, I spent all my time getting this is going to date me right now. I spent all my time getting compiz, uh, working with Gentoo and, and I also, and then I switched from Gentoo to Arch Linux. And once I found Arch, I was lost for years. In fact, I was, I, all I could do was configure. Like I literally couldn't even program anymore. Um, I, I didn't go to class. Like I, I failed all my electrical engineering courses. Like it was just Arch. Okay. Arch was the only thing on my mind. Um, and I had all the time in the world. I had four years of like a lot of time because I was in college and I was skipping classes. Like I can't use Linux. Okay. Like I legitimately cannot use Linux in post. Oh, <laughs> Thank Both you for the follow. <laughs> like, thanks for following me when I'm talking about my darkest moments. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, like I, if I get, if I install Linux, I immediately lose all sense of reality and I just start configuring like I just start tinkering okay I'm just a tinkerer like that's what I do if I don't have some kind of constraint on me like I will tinker until I die all right <laughs> my wife will leave me now like I, there's more at stake bad cop there's more at stake all right like when I was in college sure arch linux configuration yes I had like transparent when I changed my workspace it was like 3d flipping cubes like I what was I even doing? Um, and I don't run GUI. Oh yeah, 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 Ubuntu with no GUI. But see, I don't have the con I don't have the self discipline that you do, bad cop. Okay, Arch is based. I use Arch, by the way. <laughs> Arch is hundred percent based. Um, can't hear on it because of Twitch ads. Oh, 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 oh async graph Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I missed that. Uh, wait, this is my end game. Let's see. I gotta look at this. Um, Dude, this is this is based though like look at this you can only concentrate on 10 lines of code at a time that's perfect that's perfect i love this um that's ultra portable uh unix born celebrity material <laughs> unironically yeah i mean there is something to small screens like and like one screen right like i feel like with two screens we get i get distracted like Clearly I have a problem and I get distracted with just configuring Arch. But like if I had, imagine if I had three screens of Arch, like I would, I would literally stop functioning in society. Um, if it's in my pocket, I can go anywhere. No, that, yeah, it's ultra portable for sure. Like, and like this last weekend when I was hiking, 
I was only like 10 miles. I was only like seven miles in, six miles from the nearest like town. And in Idaho, there are towns with 63 people. And this is one of those towns. And so I look back on from like the top of this or like the the top of this lake, right? It's like Alpine Lake. I look down, I see the town and I go, I bet you I have signal here with my phone. So I whip out my phone. I have signal. I have signal. I've just hiked seven or six miles and I have signal. Um, yeah, so you could use this setup on a mountain if you really wanted to, as long as you're within eyesight of like rising Linux all day and not doing anything productive. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <clears throat> that's me. Like I have serious problems. Like you guys don't understand. Like I have issues. Like I, everyone's like, Oh, what do you use Mac? Like, Oh, you're so, you're so lame. Like blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, I use Mac. Cause I want to actually like produce something like, I guess, I don't know. <sighs> All right. Now that I got that off my chest, look, I've made a ton of bad decisions. Okay. Arch Linux configuration, QR code tattoos. Like this is not my day today. All right. I'm just going over all my horrible decisions. I just recently riced my art setup after three years of using it. I'm not big into ricing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mac is just too uncomfy. It is like, but it's the, that's what makes me like, that's what makes me like productive with it. Cause it's bad, right? Like oh, pros, Peter. pros, thank you. Thank you for thank the you. follow. Um, I quit Linux for that exact reason. I was wasting hours each day on rising just because <laughs> exactly like Unix, Unix porn, like it is insane what people do. Like the setups look so clean and I go, shoot, I want that. I refuse to learn the command key. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at my keyboard. Okay. Look at my keyboard. Just a stock Mac keyboard. All right. Sadness. Sad. Um, but this is what keeps me constrained. I, I loved Ubuntu. Um, I need to have guardrails and boundaries. Um, I need them just to, just to make software. RSI incoming. I do have a li look. You know what I do for my RSI though? Is that um, I got a, I have like one of those like weight sets that you like can configure like the weights. And then I also have like a pull-up bar. And I legit, like, if I have RSI coming on, like, I've been working out more lately, but before, like, for years, I, like, neglected working out. Um, like, I haven't worked out hard since I was, like, 26. Um, and But I'm getting back into it. But, like, doing the pull-ups and, like, push-ups and, like, doing the curls, like, that fixes all problems. Like, now I could just do, I could be on, like, a couch hunched over like a shrimp, and I'm just like, yeah, like, no problem, you know? I don't have any pain at all. Um, so yeah, working out like helps me a lot, which is weird because I, I don't actually like working out, but like try Papa's. Oh, Papa was. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. referred Villa over Mac. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mac is fine. So you need to tweak it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't tweak it. I don't, if Mac had sane defaults, I'd be on board. So the only thing I do for Mac is I have hammer spoon, right? I have, I have hammer spoon, um, uh, I have hammer spoon, which is good. Uh, and then I have amethyst WM, which is good. Um, that those are the only two things that I use. Um, and that gets me like, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's not good, but like, it's, it's okay. Do you use any window magic? Yeah, Amethyst. Yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah, Amethyst. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Same. Oh, Prozod. Same. Same. Yeah, I might do Pop OS, especially if I go to System76 for an extra scene. Yeah, I do. I will say, many me, like, I will say System76 is probably the only Linux thing I could probably use. Like, natural scrolling, I shouldn't need to say more. <laughs> Look, Apple's, Apple's ads are, like... I mean, they're cringe, like they're bad. Like I, I'm not going to say like whatever, whenever they come up with a new feature, it's just like the most ridiculous, stupid names. Like, like what was this? What was this for the iPhone? It was like the, what was that? Like the dynamic Island, dynamic freaking Island. Like it's a, it's a hole. Like it's a hole in your screen. Like, but here's Apple, here's Apple, right? They're just, 
No, it's dynamic. It's a dynamic island, okay? It's not a pop, it's not a hole, it's not a cutout, right, for the, for the camera. But yeah, that's, I do hate that. I do hate that uh, about Apple. It's super annoying. You showed Amethyst? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're at the same, we're at the same. Uh, besides that, on the CLI, Mac has its own version of the GNU. Yeah, oh yeah, that's not good. You have to, you have to ditch that stuff, um, which I haven't done, but yeah, you have to, you have to install Homebrew right away um, on Mac. You, you can't, you can't use their old tools. System76 is like, I can use Linux and not have to think about maintenance, blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, I like that about System76. I really like that. I mean, Ubuntu also is similar, but like, yeah. Uh, oh, it's BSD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to install GNU. Yeah, you have to install GNU. Yes, totally. Look, I mean, I'm, I, I would like to use FreeBSD on the server, but like not, not as my daily, you know what I mean? The only annoying thing about Ubuntu is the package manager. Oh, yeah. Snap. What is it? Snap now? Right? Is that what it is? I the, I actually I've tried Linux brew and it's like it's freaking homebrew. Uh, things get updated so slowly. No one uses Snap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I think I switched one of my servers to like Debian, and I was like, yeah, that's what I want. I want Debian, not not Ubuntu. Um, oh, just apt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not use what the rest of the world do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Like Mac should default to GNU Core. Like I don't know why they're look. I mean that's Apple. Like Apple just they're just doing things. Like they're just out here doing their own thing. They have they. This is not the first time that they've gone with their own processor. Like I don't know if anyone remembers, but Apple. Yeah, it's classic Apple. Like Apple, they've been wanting to do their own processor for forever. Like they used to be on a Motorola. They used to be on Motorola uh, processors that were like. Oh, it was like power, power PC. Um, that's not good. Like no one, it would, it sucked. Like everyone hated it. Um, Intel was way ahead. Like the, the, yeah, power, yeah, power back and power PC. Yeah. Um, it's probably a licensing thing. Oh, maybe it is licensed, like open source. Yeah. 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 That's true. It, it probably is. That's good. That's a good point. Bad cop is probably, uh, the most knowledgeable person uh, here, more knowledgeable than me for sure. I don't know anything. Um, companies don't like the GPL. Yeah, because GPL is that viral. It's like viral, right? It's like that viral licensing. Uh, no one, no co no company wants to like go full Richard Stallman, you know? Um, all right. Okay, let me see if I can at least get these indexes working. I mean, also one of the main guys who wrote BSD was chief Unix officer at Apple. Oh, really? I did not know that. Oh, oh, that's why they use some of the BSD stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they kind of, like, had a hand in, like, doing the licensing. That's, pop that's possible. Definitely possible. All right, let me see. Indexes to create does not exist. Um, generate. And then we'll do indexes to cre uh, create. Indexes equal. I also, I used to say indices like I was English or something. Like I was British, like. And uh, apparently you can just say indexes, so that's good. Uh, let's see, create indexes SQL, okay. Create, oh my gosh. Okay. Generate, good. Um, so indexes to create is going to be like tables to create. Um, <laughs> look at all these lifetime. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Um, let's see, what, what did I do for... for Columns to add. Oh, yeah. No lifetimes whatsoever. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let's do... It's probably going to be like more like columns to add, actually, right? Uh, we can just do a little shrinking. A little shrinking. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I not M-I-F? Oh, a little shrink. There we go. Uh, indexes to create. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh... Why is there a future? What is th this is what they generated for me? What the heck? I don't even understand this. Vec index name. Um, 
What is, what is, what is this? What? Vag index. This, this returns index, returns the vector of indexes. Yes. Yeah, this, um, I, oh, I already have the columns though, right? I already have those prick. I already have those columns. Uh, indices, indices like a proper bloke. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna do a British accent. I will. It is. I'm gonna freaking destroy. Like, there's no way. I think indices sounds better than indexes. <laughs> I mean, indexes sounds so painfully American. Like, let me get my gallon of water. And uh, what's the temperature outside? What's Fahrenheit? What's the what's the index of that there? Like, oh, how many indexes are there? Yeah, I don't, I'm okay. Look, like, I don't mind. Like, I love America. All right. I mean, it has its problems. Like, America. We got a lot of problems. <laughs> we, and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the problems. They're just like, oh yeah, like we're fine. You know, <laughs> we're fine. Like no, no problem. Everything's okay, right? What am I, what am I, why is this, why does this want to be a future? Like why, oh, 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 did I change this? I did change this, right? Yeah. Rough American English, <laughs> it is rough. Like the wild west out here, being and Dicey's guy. Oh, okay, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> this is fine, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got, um, I still like America, but like, yeah, we got, we got issues, man. Like, I'm not going to get political here, but, but yeah. Indexes to create index array. Oh, bad cop coming in with the logic, coming in with the logic. Dude, shoot. We got to do this. Index R. Bad cop. Bad cop's the one, you know what I mean? Bad cop is the one. All right, let me see. So we've got, what do I need to do here? What do I need to do? Oh, I need to get, I basically just need to say if the, because the index names comes from the database, right? So a loop through indexes and filter out ones that don't exist in the database. Uh, contains index. Can I do that? Or is that double reference? What is this? What is this double reference nonsense? <laughs> Classic Rust, and I'm gonna just collect, right? We'll collect into a vec of whatever it should be, and that is that. Oh no! Oh oh, because I have the I have the. What do I want to do here? Do I want to do into? Do I care to like do this? Can I just do this? Is that fine? Uh, expected reference into oh. Me. Index name, oh my gosh. Index names, index names, inner map, ion, ion dot zero. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is that? What was going on with that? Let's see. What is this? What's wrong with this? Oh, can I not do this? Oh my gosh, because it's a reserved word. Oh my gosh. All right. We'll get there. Let's see. Uh, found string. Borrow that string, baby. All right. Index is to create. What else am I missing here? This does not return a stir. This returns a string. Uh, what else am I missing? Found indexes. Oh, collect. This needs to be. What am I doing? Tables that are flat map indexes? But this needs to be. Vec of index? Is that fine? Oh, I, right, because I'm not owning, but I want to own, right? But I want to own, though, right? Oh, because I'm, if I don't borrow tables here, though, that's not going to be good. That is not going to be good. Uh, uh, found reference futures. Oh, no wonder when it generated the function, it did that. Dang it. Okay, expected struct. Oh, we'll just we'll just do a borrow. That's fine. We'll borrow. Uh, and then what is this? What is this? Uh, or better yet, topologies. <laughs> Back up from yesterday, topologies. Look, I actually asked my um I asked my data engineering person if they like well mine, like I the person on my team, uh, if they if they knew 
like what's going on with that and they said nothing like they totally ignored it and i was like look i i just asked you a question right like so now i don't know if like what what the, if the topologies are any good clop clop what's up what's up i love this i love this uh this little emoji just return unit from everything like i do <laughs> look we got to try that metamy like there's no way like i was thinking about what you were talking about like if you if you do this right and then b takes like a, it takes like a it takes a num or something that's like a i don't know i32 and then like can you can you call can you do that b a right i mean am i yeah there's no wait wait, wait. oh self Let's see, self. Yeah, right? Like, look, it says expected I32, right? Uh, unit, right? Oh, man, oh, you're going to explore in your next stream? Yeah, like, I was like, what? Like, how can you pass unit? I think that was their thing. Like, I think that was because you were calling that library function. I think that was their problem. Because I was thinking about it, like, yeah, like, I think that was their, like, maybe they had, like, a generic or something. And like one of the, like maybe it's like a trait and like one of the things was like, oh, it like it is unit or something. Like you can pass unit. I, that's the only way I can think that happens. Like that was, pre that was a them problem. I think that wasn't a you problem. Like that was, that was definitely them. Consider removing the borrow. All right, whatever. Uh, if I try to use tables again, oh, oh, I use tables here. Oh, okay. Cause it is the borrow. That's fine. Uh, this needs to be indexes to create, uh, Expect the struct table name. Oh. Uh, index index R, right? So we have to change all these, I think. Let's see. Let's do let's do index R. Uh, we'll do index creatable index R something. I don't know. We're getting kind of weird now. I don't know if it's to be creatable, maybe like uh, index R to be created. <laughs> I'm getting to Java territory here. Let's see, uh, what is this? Expect the struct table name? No, this should be index. And then this should just be index r iter. Oh my gosh, can I type? Iter map index 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 dot create index equal collect. We need a vec here. Let's do something like this. There we go. All right. We did it. We did. We got through it. Ugh. All right. Clap, clap. Uh, just trying to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing special. Probably going to play a bit. Uh, what's CP? What is that? What's CP? Do you have an M1? I have a Synbleed. I have a M1. I have an M1 because I can only afford to buy one Apple computer, okay? And then after that, it was all, what is up with my lighting? Like, why am I so, like, orange today? I think it's because I have the window open. Um, clap, clap, I'm good, I'm good. What is CP though? You gotta tell me. Index factory manager factory? <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing it, we're doing the index. Warren buffering, get out of here. Get out of here with the Java. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you doing Gradle things, right? Is that what's happening? Oh yeah, I don't have any bang commands because I'm I don't know what I'm doing on Twitch. Uh Vinit K me, my keyboard. You wanna see my keyboard? Look, this is keyboard now. It's keyboard time. Look at this. Do you see this? <laughs> this is an Apple stock magic keyboard, okay? Look how sad it is. Look how thin it is. Look at the thinness of it though. Look at that. Um Cyberpunk. Oh, Cyberpunk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving up for a Kinesis, currently a pleb, Apple external keyboard. Oh, wait. I do have that. What? What? How is that? What? Oh, wait. What? Fossabot has this? Like, how did I do that? I guess I am saving up. I would like an Advantage 360. Did I put that in there, like, years ago? I totally forgot. I am, like, blown away. But I like beans. <laughs> I was. I beat it. Uh, beans? Yeah, Java beans, delicious. Have you tried some memory optimization with Rust on M1? It's much faster than x86. I have not, Sinbleed. I have not tried that. Uh, that's kind of cool. I might have to switch. 
Uh, I type fast on it, but getting bad hand aches. I need to use Windows for work. Oh, type it fast on it. <laughs> bad cops just trying out now because I don't even know. Like, is Fossabot just making stuff up? Like, am I crazy? Like, I don't even remember putting this in here. I want an Ergodox EZ, but I also consider going to advantage. What is an Ergodox EZ? <laughs> bad cops, like, bad cops into it. <laughs> I'm not vindicating. I'm not crazy. Okay. I'm not crazy. Mostly, I'm not crazy mostly because I'm not doing freaking Gradle, like Warren Buffering. What is this? Ergodox EZ. Oh, this is slick. What the heck? Dude, I love the split keyboards, though. I, I want a split keyboard. They're so freaking cool. Like, what's going on? Not fish? <laughs> um, is there, like, a help? Can we do help? There's not even a help. Are you a full-time streamer or work professionally? What stack are you using the company? Just having, just having fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Split keyboards are banging. Warren Buffering, what, what is your keyboard? Oh, we got to snooze this. We got to snooze. Am I a full-time streamer? Um, I am. I wish I was a full-time streamer. That would be sick. Are you kidding? That would be amazing. Um, no, I, yeah, I work professionally simply. I work, you know what? I want to tell you this, okay? On tech Twitter and Twitch and YouTube, everything's so exciting. Like all the tech is new and like shiny. Everyone's doing OCaml and Rust and like cool stuff that you've never even thought to use in your company. But the reality is people like people like me and people like uh, like everyone who's a full time who everyone who's a streamer has a full time job is either doing Java or like me. I do rails. OK, like the most boring of the boring stuff. So, yeah, unfortunately, I would love to like write Rust on the daily for work, but um, no one's going to pay me money to write Rust. That's just the sad truth. All right. Um, but I love it though. Like if I, I, I can't write rails outside of work, like I did try it for a while on stream, but yeah, I just, I burnt out hard. Um, so that, that, that's part of the reason. So like, they're not trying to lie to you, but like, I think it's just, if you're going to do programming outside of work, you don't want to use the same stuff at work. If <laughs> bad cop will pay you money to write rust. Yes, we got one. We got one. Um, What's wrong with Gradle? I think it's pretty groovy. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Bad Cop is just like 100% jokes. Uh, yeah. Warm Buffering, you have a Kinesis? Maybe I should get a Kinesis. Bam. <laughs> Maybe I should get a Kinesis. Shoot. But yeah, um, Synbleed. The, the, tr the fact is that I would say like 100% of these people, like the most exciting language that any of these YouTubers and people use at work is pro I would guess it's probably go. That's probably the most exciting language, which is sad. Um, it's very sad, but this is we're, we're I think we're trying to like will like cool languages into the world. You know what I mean? Like we're just trying to meme our way into like an actual work environment. You have no power here. <laughs> is go fun to use? Uh, I think, I think go is fun to use. Yeah. I think it's, Go is, it's, it becomes so easy that you don't have to like, once you get it, um, and if you're doing a web application, like with HTMX or something, like once you understand like all the little pieces of Go, you never have to look at the docs because it's so simple and easy and you're just, you're just banging out code like hundred percent. I wrote Go professionally. It was not exciting. <laughs> I'm saying, but that is the most exciting thing. Like we, we. We, we can't, we don't write Rust and like OCaml and stuff at work because it's exciting, right? Um, but like Go is probably the most exciting thing that we could get away with. Um, but yeah, Java is probably the standard still. Like I have, uh, I have a friend in, in uh, who lives here and he works for a local company. Guess what it is? Java. Like not even Kotlin, not Scala, not Clojure, like freaking Java. I'm probably the envy of some in writing closure. Oh, meta me. That's right. Writes closure. Um, but also so rough to be on the JVM. Yeah. Yeah. No, closure is definitely very exciting. Like compared to Java. I actually like my professional experience with go at the start. Wait, Portetto. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah. Like 
go at the start. Like, what happened after? Like, I need to know this because I've only written one project in Go and I also got kind of bored. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Merlindrew, back on the Rust train. Wait, weren't you in here talking about TypeScript? I almost forked the Go compiler because the warnings are errors. Yeah. Oof. Oh my gosh. That was super, that was super annoying. Rust is the best lang. Merlindrew, let's go. Let's go. Later, the team members decide to switch to all the code to TypeScript. Rust or bust. <laughs> Merlindrew is trolling me. I just realized that Merlindrew is trolling me 100%. Um, I don't appreciate it. You know what I mean? I don't appreciate it. I like in the 500K city. You're not trolling. He's not trolling. Hey. I'm like in the 500K city and 90% jobs are C sharp. Yeah, C sharp. Java and C sharp, same thing. Same thing. I just flip flop between favorite langs on the daily. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Is he you? You were in here talking about TypeScript. Like, TypeScript's the best thing. Um, my opinions are bad. I still like C. Look, I mean, oh, we got to snooze this. Look, honestly, like, I like I like C plus plus the latest one. I really like C plus plus twenty three. It looks so cool and like I mean it, yeah, it looks like Rust. I realize Rust has a special property that other links don't have. Merlindrew, share it, share it with us right now. What is the property? What is the special property? The special sauce, the Rust sauce. It has so many neat features that I can't figure out how to use. C++ 23. Wait, Merlinger, you can't just fall off. I feel like Merlinger is about to drop some hate. I know, seriously. Like, I am, like, on the edge of my seat. But I'm standing. But I'm still on the edge of my seat. Uh, TKV, I've stuck writing Python backend code, which sparks the opposite of joy for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, Python. I'm doing Rails. So, like, yeah, like... Uh, Rails, it, it's the best way to, like, the bugs per second uh, rate is, like, very high. Like, in Rails, my bugs per second rate is, like, super high, sky high. Like, I ha I'll i have to write the equivalent code in, in Rust that I would get right the first time. I have to write, like, the I have to check again and again. I have to look at each token, like, in the Ruby code to make sure that, like, I don't have a nil or like, oh, is this thing good? Is this one okay? Like, is that fine? It takes me way longer to write Rails write the correctly the first time than it does for Rust. Like, that's the thing. Merlindrew, what? What is the special sauce? Like, I'm, I'm we're all waiting here. What the heck is happening? C plus plus twenty modules have that's called productivity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess like the opposite of joy is productivity, right? Is that what it is? C plus plus twenty modules have to be a troll. There's no way. I haven't even looked at those. What are they? Is it tw uh, was it twenty or was it um, C plus plus twenty modules? What exactly are C plus plus twenty modules? Rails is a hundred x at something. <laughs> Rails is a hundred x nil reference exceptions like nil ex nil errors. This this freaking thing. Like if I never have to see that ever again, like I. <sighs> my gosh, like I, I thought Rails was the best thing in like 2012 and I got stuck doing it for 10 freaking years. Don't be like me. No, I'm, de I'm definitely looking for, um, my next job, whenever that is, is will not be Rails. Like I am, I am dedicated to the cause to not write Rails ever again. Uh, Rails is on hundred X. Merlindrew, he's he's back. He's back. He came in. All right, this is it. This is Rust's special sauce, all right? The borrow checker, but not in the way people usually mean. Hear me out. Not memory management, but resource management. When using Prisma Client Rust, it knows when usage of the DB variable that you usually have is over. Yeah, that's 99% that's of the time and intermediate variable in other langs too. But since Rust manages resources, drop is called earlier than with all other languages where you return the connection to the pool manually. In Rust, it happens right when the variable is dropped, i.e. the intermediate variable right after calling its first method. That makes sense. Look, this is why I love I love Rust for that reason too. Like they call it, what do they call it? R-A-I-I, -I, right? Um, R-A-I-I, -I, right? Resource acquisition is initialization. Um, but I think the opposite thing of, is like when you have that, so like in other languages, you have to do like using X equals Y 
and like you like in in ruby you do like a block a ruby block or whatever do um use this thing xyz end right and like this is the thing that like gets you there but it's it's horrible right oh no pre-roll ads are on oh oh my gosh how do i do it how do i get rid of it um but high level langs usually don't do this yes that's true good to, because the garbage collector right yeah good to switch up langs even if it's not going to rust just nice to use something else in general day to day unless it's php <laughs> but outside of php not hard to beat rails yes and using still leaves room for the variable to hang around yeah yeah exactly in rust you don't have to remember to drop yes yes and it happens sooner than doing it automatically yes that that is rust killer fe that's one of rust killer features right yes like between option result which is not checked exception it's not we're not in here doing beans okay there's no checked exceptions but between uh option result and raii like those to me are rust killer features like yes it it stinks to like think about oh shoot snooze all right oh shoot it's been it's been an hour and ten all right no this was fun like uh i'm so glad merlin drew that you're on the rust team again like let's go that's what i'm talking about but yeah, I got to get out of here. Uh, I actually have to do work. Like, it's unfortunate. Killer features. <laughs> Killer features. All right. Um, I don't know what... The, like, it's showing up on the screen. Like, the little Pepe is showing up on the screen. But like, I don't know. Um, all right. Be back same time. 17 UTC tomorrow. All right. See you guys. See you guys later. Bye.